We can watch. We can watch. 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 We can 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 watch. That'll do. Nice one. Hello, welcome to Wigan Watch. Um, we're walking around the galleries today, um, trying to see what's going on. Every shop now is shut within the galleries because, well, we've been told to. Uh, I've been shut for over a month now and most other shops have been gone for as long, if not longer. But nothing's happened, apart from a few holes appearing in ceilings and walls of units, which I assume is preliminary. Um, investigations into what they're going to do and how they're going to knock it all down but it all seems a little premature it's like we've all been kicked out before we needed to be kicked out and it is it's very weird it's like, it's like one of those you know when you see people urban explorers going into places that are abandoned it feels like that now which is a shame what I intend to do over the next few days is chase people who've moved, relocated, um, see where they are and see how they're doing. So for example, Go Bananas is currently, as far as I'm aware anyway, in Chorley. So I'm going to go to Chorley and have a look and there's a few other places in Chorley as well. The outdoor market, there are still people doing the outdoor market, but the outdoor market will be closing and the stalls will be moving into the main market. Um, let's have a look in there then. This is Barry, the key man, who is a key man as well. Uh, his last day is Saturday the 6th of May. It's the 7th of May, isn't it, Saturday? Oh, I don't know. But anyway, that's another place closing down. Uh, the inside bag lady and handbag lady is gone. Uh, these are empty stalls now. That one isn't. I've heard rumours that that one shut down as well. But everyone else seems to be uh, still trading, although it's a bit early yet. I've come here early morning. So the vape guy is still open. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm filming for uh, YouTube. Advertising, you're open. <laughs> These have all gone though. Everyone's gone. That one's still there, but that one's gone as well. Remember, the market is staying open for two years. Everyone on this section is still open who was open. So this is no change. That's still open, it's just not open yet. And all the card shops are still open as well. It's quite scary, actually, um, how many stalls have shut. I mean, I'm here early, very early. It's not even half nine yet. Um, so that's what's why some stalls haven't opened yet, but still, uh, it's not looking good at the moment, unfortunately. So remember these lots behind me, got told they had to be out before the end of January. We're in May now, nothing's happened. My unit, um, there's a bit of uh, rubbish on the floor which has come out the ceiling. Looks like they've ripped the ceiling down a little bit, not that you can see that much. Um, but yeah, it's it is like a ghost town, and this is before they put up all the um, barriers and things to stop people walking around here. Remember these guys threatening with legal action if they weren't out by the 26th, I think it was of January. You can see why it was so important. Home bargains they shut down on Christmas Eve. Just remind you, we're in May now. There's preliminary drilling going on. Now, this is only a rumour, I don't know this for definite, but uh, it's, I've heard that they've actually drilled into a stream or something that goes under here in the car park and flooded the car park downstairs, but I don't know that for definite. Um, but remember, Wigan is full of streams. There was a, a kind of marsh or a pond where the bus station is, and that must have been fed somehow and also water going out somehow and we're downhill from that so one assumes that there are streams and things running underneath this site so is it strong enough to hold an eight-story building that's the next question so there you go then a walk around the galleries uh, what's left of the galleries to be fair the building itself is still pretty intact apart from the few holes they've dug here there and everywhere um, but the the issue we've got is 
that the money's coming from China, and every time you listen to the news, there's more reasons for the money not to come from China because of sanctions that may be coming on because they've not told Russia that what they're doing is wrong. Um, and they've also got human rights issues and other stuff going on as well. So China, where the money's coming from, is scary. Remember, the elections are on Thursday this week. You can vote to stop this. I mean, you can't stop the shops getting empty, but you can stop it getting knocked down and being built by China. Um, change the plans. So, for anyone but Labour at the election, let's make them know that we're not happy. So next time, bye. We can watch. 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 That'll do. Nice one.